I'm going to get you started with Mozilla Thimble. Thimble is an online tool that we're going to be using to help us learn web design. Before you can start using Thimble, however, you need to create an account. The steps are pretty straightforward. You're going to go to the Mozilla Thimble site, click create an account, enter your information, sign up, and then make sure that you keep the login handy somewhere. For me, the easiest way is just to go to Google and search for Mozilla Thimble. You will see that Thimble by Mozilla should be the uh, first item in the search results. Click on that. And like I just described, you need to go to create an account and you're going to enter in a username, email, and password. And then you're going to click sign up. Make sure that you keep that information handy somewhere. For me, I like to keep my passwords in a password manager. So when it comes time to log in, I simply go and automatically log in to my site. Once you have an account for Thimble, you will see that your username is in the upper right hand corner. And when you click on it, you'll have the ability to create a new project, see your projects, which are listed here, or you can sign out. How are we going to be using Thimble? You're going to be using Thimble primarily in two ways. First, most HTML and CSS lessons will have an accompanying Thimble. When you scroll down on the lesson page, you will see a tablet that looks like this, and it gives you the instructions. You're going to click on the tablet to remix an existing web project made in Thimble. You're going to follow the tutorial and then publish and submit your final results. So let me show you how this works. Let's say I was just done with this lesson and it was time for the hands-on practice. I would click on this tablet and it would take me to a project to remix. As you can see, the name says HTML Basics Remix. So this is a project that I created for you that you are going to extend. You will see that there is a page called Tutorial. You'll also see it over here in the right pane. And this has the steps that you need to follow to complete the project. So the way that Thimble works is on the left, there's an editor. And most of the time, you're going to be working in the file called index.html. Whatever you type here, you can preview on the right. When you are completing these projects, however, you're going to want to refer to the tutorial. So what I would say is make sure it says tutorial here. Go to index over here. And what you're going to do is you're going to read and follow the instructions. For example, to remix this particular project, it says the first step is to rename the project by clicking on the title in the upper left hand corner. It says add first name, last initial. So what I can do is I can say James C HTML basics remix and then click save. And then number two says add a heading inside the body element of index.html at line 10. So I'll go to line 10 and I'll look at my example. And this will, as you can see, the tutorial tells you exactly what to do. Step three, it says add an image below the heading you just made. So following the directions, that's exactly what I will do. Okay, so at this point, I'm gonna preview my web page. And it looks like I followed the tutorial because the tutorial tells me that it should look like this when I'm done. And my page, my index.html definitely does. So I go back to the tutorial and it'll tell me exactly how to save and publish. Thimble projects automatically save themselves. The only thing you need to explicitly save is when you change the title of a project. And then here it says how to publish. Click publish button in the upper right hand corner. It says when prompted, provide a detailed project description. So I'm gonna click that. Okay, now that I have my project description, I'm ready to click publish. Last but not least, this is the public URL where I can see my work. So I'm going to control C or command C that into my browser. And this is what I'm ultimately going to submit in Schoology right here where it says Thimble HTML basics. To submit your work, simply click on the submit assignment button and then use the create option. And you can control V or paste in the URL to your completed project and then
click Submit. There you go. In addition to the Thimble mini projects like the one I just showed you, you will have a series of standalone Thimble projects as well. You will normally see a page like this in the course shell that says Thimble and then the name of the project. You're going to complete these Thimble assignments the same way. You will see a page that looks something like this. I'll summarize your learning. I'll give you the exact directions you need to follow in order to complete the Thimble project. And I will also give you an exemplar or model. Down below, I will have a link to the video in case you forget how to do a Thimble project. Now, these projects are just a little bit different. The first thing you're going to do when doing a standalone Thimble project is you're going to click on the step-by-step -step project guide. This project guide will have three different sections. One section will teach you how to get into Mozilla Thimble if you forgot. One will teach you how to remix the project. And one will show you how to share to the Padlet. Now we already covered how to remix and publish a Thimble remix. That's what we just did in our Go Bananas example. But standalone Thimble projects have one additional component to them. You are also going to post the URL to your completed project to a classroom Padlet. It's fairly straightforward. I give you a link to click on, and then you double click on the wall. You provide your first name, last initial, and the name of your project. Now I'm just messing around here so you can see how this works, but just make sure you follow the directions. And then you can click on this add attachment section and Control V to paste in your project. So that in general is how you post to a Padlet. Make sure you follow the directions, however, for the particular project that you're working on. Okay, let's recap the steps for completing a standalone Thimble assignment. You're going to open the project guide, sign in to Thimble, remix by following the tutorial, and then publish your URL to the Classroom Padlet. Last but not least, you are going to publish the same URL in Schoology for a grade.